Yo, what's going on guys? John Shea here from the No Shame Income blog. And today I'm gonna to be talking about my experience with hiring various mentors over the years I've been doing internet marketing. So um, again, if you guys are brand new on the channel here today, um, be sure to throw me a thumbs up on the video. And if you decide to actually go back and leave me a comment on this video, I will go back and actually reply to your comment. As well as if uh, you have not been on the channel here before, uh, be sure to subscribe. I actually release new videos each and every week. So let's dive into today's video. All right, so what I'm gonna be talking about today, I'm not gonna be doing like my traditional screen share that I usually do. I'm actually gonna be walking you guys through um, just a little bit of my journey and some story about some things that I've done when it comes to hiring people to help me um, really do more in the internet marketing business, you know, like um, in this niche, in this uh, kind of world, I guess you can say, right? So when I very first got started in 2012, um, I had joined this company called Empower Network. Um, it was a more or less a multi-level marketing style company where you would recruit other people, um, they would end up buying other products, and then you could earn commissions from all the people under you buying those products. I don't want to go too deep into that, but pretty much what ended up happening was there was a guy in that group that I started following. He was having all kinds of success, and um, I ended up taking one of his, his courses. This guy's name was Robert, and um, ended up buying this course of his for about 100 bucks. I went through it, and I thought it was really amazing. had a lot of really good information in it, and I ended up continuing like talking with Robert and learning more about what he was doing, and I ended up basically saying like, hey, is, you know, is there more to this? Like, can I get your personalized help? And of course he offered me an opportunity to do coaching. So I ended up paying him $600, which at the time was a lot of money. Um, this was something where I had um, basically, you know, I was still working a nine to five job. Um, I wasn't making any money yet on doing internet marketing. I really didn't know what I was doing. And I decided to hire this guy and um, pay him $600. And I think for him, you know, that was, wasn't really much, right? Like he had five other people that had paid him this. And what he ended up doing was he didn't even get on the phone with me. Like this was literally my worst experience with a mentor or coach. It actually turned me off from the experience for a while. I ended up actually um, having him get on a like kind of screen share session with me. And all that he did was explain over the screen share that I need to sign up for all these other programs. They were basically additional MLM co type companies. One of them was called Zip Not a Zilch, and I forget, you know, I remember this company um, like very, very uh, clearly, you know. And what had happened was I signed up for all these companies, and the idea was that he had the system where I could then go and basically go and get other people to sign up for these same programs under me. And I just went along with everything he said, you know. I confided in him because I had spent this money, and of course I took everything he said and just took it to heart and said, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And Zip Not a Zilch, they were one of the few that he had me sign up for. And what they did was they actually send you a bunch of trials of different products. So like it could be teeth whitening, um, it could be children's books, it could be um, all these different things, right? Like maybe you get like a flashlight or whatever it is, like some kind of um, service or one-time thing. A lot of them were stuff where you could get um, locked into something. Like they'll send you a package of teeth whitening for a month and then you get it the next month. And what ended up happening is I got all this stuff in the mail and I was like, what is going on here? You know, like why, why did I do this? And I realized I had really been duped into something. And of course I would never put this upon someone else. Like I wouldn't want all these other people signing up for this stuff and being locked into it. And I remember him telling me like, oh yeah, you're going to get a bunch of trials. All you have to do is cancel it and then it's fine. And I said, okay. And of course I go to like cancel this stuff online. You can't cancel it on the internet. You have to call these companies on the phone. They fight you tooth and nail like they do not want to cancel your order and they're like literally not allowing you to even get out of it. And I had to, I had such a tough time getting out of it. I got so many spam phone calls from this company, um, all this other crap that was going on. I ended up actually needing to go back and um, go to my credit card company and get a reversal on all the fees. So this was my first experience hiring a mentor. To say the least, it was not good. It was actually very daunting and it scared me for a very long time from feeling like I could hire anybody for anything. So um, really years and years went on where I, I was just feeling, you know, it was hard for me to trust anybody, hard for me to feel like I could do anything and hire anybody, right? So um, years, years later, I was working for a marketing agency and um, you know, I was doing project management work. I really wasn't that happy. I was making about $50,000 a year. And I said to myself, you know, 
I know there's more opportunity. I know there's guys out there that are doing this stuff. They're having a lot of success with it. And you know, they're just at a, at a level where they're doing really well. And I've been following this guy. His name was Lior Ohan. And he had actually been um, writing on a blog of his where he would talk a little bit about um, how he was outsourcing SEO and outsourcing a lot of digital marketing work while traveling the world. And I was like, you know, this guy is someone that I want to be like. Like, I want to be traveling the country, freedom, not even worrying about employees or all this other stuff while fulfilling all this work and not needing to really answer to anybody. So he was literally like living what I wanted, right? And I'd been reading his blog posts and reading you know, all this stuff over years of time. And I ended up taking one of his courses. Um, I went through it. Again, it was similarly priced to this original mentorship. I believe I paid $4.97 for it. And in between all of this, of course, I had taken many other courses and been through more experiences and things that had worked, things that hadn't worked. And what I ended up doing was um, one day reading this article about how he was traveling the world and doing all this stuff. And um, after taking that course, um, I basically had figured out that following it on my own, it really wasn't working. Like I wasn't having any success with it. It was about using freelance sites to go out there and um, basically land client work. And you know, the premise of it, the idea of it was all good, but I wasn't having any success with it. And I ended up giving up on it. I asked for a refund. And it was about a year later, I was reading that article I mentioned from his blog. And I was, you know, I knew who he was. I'd been kind of following him for a while. And um, I said, you know what, this guy, he knows something that I don't know. There's something here that I'm just simply not doing correctly. So I actually went and um, went to Paul, and, or, I'm sorry, I went to Lior and I said, hey, um, you know, I, I really need to figure out like, what you're doing. You know, what is it that you're doing? I, I, want to, I want to do what you're doing. And I ended up actually hiring him for $2,500. Um, it was quite expensive to me at the time. It was the most money I'd ever paid for any kind of coaching. And um, what ended up happening with that was he basically took my hand and kind of walked me through the process of everything that I needed to know. Like instead of going through a course and being told, you know, create your freelance profile this way and do these things, I had him looking over my shoulder and saying, um, fix this, change this, remove this, add this. And everything was very, very like streamlined. And um, I had someone kind of guiding me. It was just like having a teacher in school and being able to ask them questions and having them um, come, you know, having that person come back and answer them and give them, uh, give me direct feedback on what to do and what to change. And when I did all that, I ended up actually closing a client for $2,500 a month. So I made all of my money back and I've since gone on to continue using that same profile and I've now earned well over probably like $30,000 from this single platform. In fact, I get client invites almost near daily um, of people coming to me saying, hey, we need help with um, SEO or digital marketing help and I'm now being handed the work as opposed to me now going and needing to you know, ultimately find it. Now, all this being said, I had success with this, but um, I decided that I wanted to put some time and energy into promoting and selling online courses. This was a passion of mine. It was something I've been doing for the last several years and I really wanted to scale this up. So um, I went out and I ended up hiring um, someone to do you know, help me with all of this. And it was a very similar process. I got on the phone with them. This guy was uh, named Sergio Estevez. He actually was someone that was really pushing the idea of helping others create and promote their online courses. And um, what it really came down to was I had a lot of initial one-on-one -on -one help where he guided me through things and um, helped me take one of my best-selling courses that I've been working on for years and turn this into something much bigger. And I learned a lot about email, copywriting, uh, writing emails, doing like sequences, building all this stuff out, writing a really good sales page, doing research to figure out what my market wanted. Um, I learned a lot of really valuable stuff, but as I started digging into some of the things that this particular mentor was teaching me, um, I actually found out that it appeared he was actually copying things from some other people. I also found out that some of the things that he was teaching me were just things that he was you know, more or less learning from other mentors, and he hadn't actually been through those experiences on his own. So this was a little bit, um, you know, kind of a, a rough spot for me where um, this guy taught me some things that I didn't know that were very hopeful, but I felt that, you know, after talking to many of the other students and people that had been through his program, they um, felt similar. You know, they just didn't feel like it was the right program for them. And they ultimately had felt either that they were going to get a refund or that it, it just wasn't a good fit and it wasn't working out. So um, this was something that kind of faded gradually. Um, I still had the opportunity to work with uh, Sergio on this uh, project. I just felt 
that as things went on, it made it very difficult for me to want to continue and want to continue getting his help knowing that um, you know some of the things that he was teaching and the way that he was portraying a lot of things and how he was going about his teaching methods, I just didn't really feel very comfortable. I didn't feel that I lost the confidence in wanting to move forward. So fast forward to today, um, I really thought that the system I had built this particular case with this online course set up was something that I, I could say to myself, hey, um, here's an opportunity where I've built something I have it sort of partially working, but I need a little bit more help. I need a little bit more guidance. So I actually hired now my fourth mentor, and this one was a little bit cheaper actually than the last two for $1,500. Um, this was a guy by the name of uh, Fion, and Fion actually helped me with my Facebook ads, specifically with Facebook ads. He helped me take my ads and ultimately get uh, my overall cost of getting a lead. So someone coming in the door and paying, you know, say five bucks initially he got the cost to come down to around three dollars and fifty cents to like four dollars so um, if you figure you spend thousands of dollars over a period of months or time this is something where you could end up in a scenario where over a long period of time that is a lot of money that you would have other, you know i would have otherwise been spending that wouldn't have led to anything right it would, would have just been waste or spending money on an audience that maybe wouldn't be ever buying my stuff so i really tried to um, narrow things down and that's kind of where I'm at now with mentors and the reason I wanted to put this video together is I'm actually um, contemplating going even a step further right uh, one of the reasons I wanted to put this video together is to give you guys a little bit of an idea of um, is this worth it so that would be like the first question right is is it worth hiring a mentor I would say the answer is yes and if you're gonna hire someone here are some things that you should really be doing before you go and do that um, the first thing is are they actually getting results with the thing that they're teaching you? So Lior, in this case, had a successful Upwork profile where he was teaching me how to go and get established on Upwork, and I was able to make a lot of money back, and he had proven results in that industry. Um, this other guy that I first hired, right, uh, Robert, he actually um, technically had results doing what he was doing, but it was a very shady approach to marketing, and what he was doing, in my opinion, was very unethical, like the type of marketing that he was approaching, and I would never wish that upon my worst enemy to go sign them up for teeth whitening and children's books and be stuck with all these spam phone calls and um, recurring credit card charges because of stuff you didn't cancel within seven days. So that was just something that I should have done better due diligence as to what it was exactly I was getting when I really didn't have that clarity. The third mentor, um, which again was Sergio, and this was kind of a, you know, n sort of, I would say, neutral experience. I'm not going to say bad, I'm not going to say really good, because I would really put it more as a neutral, would be this particular guy. He didn't really actually have um, a lot of experience actually going out and creating online courses and selling them and making money doing that, right? Um, he was someone that was making all of his money by showing other people how to do this, yet he didn't even, um, from what I could see, have a specific online course that he'd say made a million dollars with, right? So I'm now in a process of really thinking about how do I step this up um, with someone that is, you know, having massive amounts of success, right? I got on a call with someone today and for the first time ever, I was actually offered the opportunity to um, work with someone one-on-one -on -one who is essentially a multi-millionaire. They've done over $5 million in online sales through online courses which is something I'm very passionate about. And they ultimately offered this to me, this one-on-one -on -one opportunity for $30,000. And you know, I, I thought to myself, I've never paid that much for coaching. Um, I've never even paid $5,000. And it was something you know, for me that uh, it, it was just really um, kind of eye-opening you know, to, to really look at it as a big picture, right? Like uh, if I look at, say, the fact that I spent the 2,500 with Lior, um, made that 2,500 back and then another 20,000 plus over time and looking at you know some of the bigger opportunities here from someone who has proven actually done what I'm looking to do um, you know that could be a massive opportunity for me right you know if I go in head first and say I'm gonna do everything you say and just follow everything that you're doing and um, I know that you know you've had success there's no reason I can't have that same success um, it's a little eye-opening, you know, and I wanted to put that video together because this was just something really on top of mind for me today. And um, I think for a lot of people, it can be a little bit scary, you know, going in and actually wanting to hire someone for the first time and hiring a mentor. And um, I know even, you know, I don't know why, I completely slipped my mind on this one, but earlier this year, I actually hired someone else um, to help me a little bit with client generation, with getting more clients. 
Um, that was something I was already doing through my freelance site, but I wanted to streamline things a little bit more, have a little bit more focus in the work that I was doing and maybe approach business owners with something that would um, really help me, you know, um, sell my client work a lot easier. Um, sell something, say, other than SEO. So I actually had another mentor earlier this year I hired for $3,500. And um, I wanted to mention this one as well. I know I'm kind of going backwards here a little bit at this point, but I wanted to mention this one is, um, this was a guy by the name of Gallant Dill, and he actually has a group coaching program. I flew out to Austin, Texas, and actually did a, uh, it was like a three-day mastermind, where over an entire weekend, we basically all hung out and talked about Facebook ads for the entire weekend, and running them for local businesses. So this was one that I benefited a lot out of, and more or less gave me a little bit more motivation to get back into my client game. Um, I haven't specifically done in, like lead generation stuff in Facebook ads, like what he teaches, but it got me kind of off my butt a little bit, basically going back and saying, hey, there's no reason I can't um, keep selling and doing the stuff that I had been doing and having you know a lot of success with that because that's something that I've already been doing and having success with, um, whereas I kind of had dropped off a little bit. So it's been a little bit of a battle because for me, you know, I've hired many mentors um, to do the client work and that hasn't been as motivating for me. And really what it came down to was you know, for me, I, I wanted this opportunity where I could go out and hire people to help me with online courses and that was something I was more passionate about and that's really what I'm trying to put some time and energy into thinking about. So anyway, uh, some other quick tips for you guys if you're thinking about mentorship, if you're thinking about hiring someone, I would say really just think about are they doing something that you're truly passionate about and if you're going to invest this money in them, uh, is this something that you really want? Is this where you want to be, you know, years from now, right? Like for me, the client stuff, it was more something that I knew I was good at, but I realized that over um, a span of several years that it isn't something that I want to necessarily be doing like five years from now, right? Uh, the other thing was, I would say really look at like, are you working with someone that is really going to help you? Are they going to be the person that you're going to want to work with a long period of time? Are they someone that you could have a huge beneficial relationship with? And that was a bigger part of why I hired some of these people was that I wanted to have, actually have a relationship with them and start building connections with other people that are also very high level, um, doing really big things and are basically pretty much ahead of me. They're going to help lift me up and do more for me. They're gonna help me um, get me to a place in my life where I'm pretty much always looking up and going, hey, you know, there's more and there's more. And there's more I could be getting out of this, um, whether or not it's growing my business, uh, social life, whatever it is, just having people around me that are um, really lifting me up and doing more for me and not dragging me down. So um, yeah, I thought I'd just share some thoughts today on this. I know this is an interesting topic, uh, but yeah, depending on where you're at in your business, um, I would definitely, if you have the money, you know, consider hiring a mentor based on a particular subject matter and just following what they tell you to do and really like sticking your guns to it. Um, I think the bigger thing that I realized is when I actually put forth and said, hey, I want to spend this amount of money, um, it really changes the whole game of how serious you really take something and how much more um, effort you're willing to put into it because of that investment that you've put down. So I'm now kind of contemplating what could be the biggest investment I've ever made. And I know that from my past investments, I could you know, likely turn this into something that could be absolutely massive for my business if I treat it as such. So anyway, those are my thoughts for today. I hope um, this video has been helpful for you. And if you have any questions for me, feel free to reach out, leave a comment. And again, don't forget to subscribe to the video.